When the bodies of Ebert Wigwe, his wife and son landed in a Nigerian airport, photos and videos of how their bodies were packaged in the cargo plane began to circulate online and the question that came up was why were they packaged this way? Why were they concealed in something that looks like a carton on a tree? Now, why are bodies transported this way internationally when they have to be flown in high altitude? And neutral opinion. Transporting bodies internationally involves a lot of process and this process is known as repatriation or international body transportation. Depending on the country where such bodies need to be flown from, different countries have different guidelines. However, there are some guidelines that are similar to most countries. Number one, documentation. Proper documentation needs to be done for the transportation of a deceased person across international borders. Some of the documents required include death certificate, embalming certificate, and any other necessary permits or authorizations from the relevant authorities in both the departure and destination countries. It is very important to work closely with funeral directors or specialized repatriation services who can assist with the required paperwork. Number two, the body needs to be embalmed before transportation in order to slow down the decomposition process and preserve the body during transportation. This is required to be done for international transportation to meet health and safety regulation. Then number three, we have casket and packaging. The deceased person is usually placed in an appropriate casket or coffin for transportation. The coffin must comply with international shipping standard and be leak proof to prevent any fluid from leaking. During transportation, the casket or coffin is usually placed in a specialized mortuary tray or container for additional protection. I guess that's why you see it placed on a tray and strapped to it in, to restrict its movement while flying. Number 4. Transportation Arrangements The airline has specific regulations and procedures for transporting the bodies of the deceased. The family of the deceased are advised to engage the services of a funeral director or repatriation specialist who can coordinate the logistics, including booking the appropriate flights and handling the necessary permits and documentation. Number 5. Cargo or old ships are usually used to transport dead bodies. In doing this, specialized shipping containers known as air trays or mortuary containers are used to ensure the safety and integrity of the casket during transportation. These containers are designed in such a way that they fit in the cargo compartment of the aircraft. Finally, customs from both countries need to check the documents and examine the cups. Is there anything I have missed while explaining the why in this video? If you know anything concerning this topic, you can enlighten us the more. Thanks for watching.